Hello there guys and gals, it's Damien here again for DK Footy HD and as you may already know this is a video series that I'm running on the channel at the moment which is a playlist for a championship manager or one or two version. Uh, it is a classic game, I know that. Uh, a lot of people are talking about the more recent management games but for me I just love this game and I recently got my hands back on it so that's why I've decided to put together a video series on my YouTube channel. So far we're getting some good views and there's some comments coming through uh, which is always nice to see. Um, I have a couple of subscribers now which is fantastic news and hopefully you know that can continue and the channel can grow and we can carry on enjoying uh, the time that we have on this Championship Manager 2001-2002 game. Now, uh, picking up from where we left off the last time, I'm just going to restore the saved game. As you know already, we are with Spartak Moscow, uh, so that's the that's the team that I picked. Uh, at the time I launched the channel, there wasn't. I mean, it was a brand new channel, so there was no recommendations or you know do a you know no requests from subscribers. So I just picked uh, a team at random and uh, I heard that the Russian league was uh, more lenient on signing foreign players and there's a few players that I've heard about that I've never been able to sign before so that's what I'm I'm hoping to do with Spartak and as we can see we, we are having a lot of injuries uh, so <laughs> uh, it has been recommended to me by some subscribers and viewers that um, I should go out and get myself a new centre back uh, so that's what I'm, I'm at the moment uh, I think I'd managed to get one in the last game uh, so um, the next uh, transfer window opens on the 26th of June so we're only a day away now um, so the team should start taking some really nice shape and, and some good excitement coming so um, let's carry on to where we are let's just uh, scroll through these news items at the moment and uh, that's a ban from a goalkeeper oh wonderful uh, you don't want to be getting your keeper banned but never mind and there's another injury um, why that keeps happening I have no idea um, but it does seem to be happening a lot. I don't think it's anything to do with training, but maybe that's something I need to look at. Um, new Spartak Moscow club record. Four goals, score five. Oh, yeah. Um, as for Vasiliuk, uh, it was also recommended to me by a subscriber, Fantastic News, um, to try Vasiliuk as a centre forward, um, as the lone striker up front. And the game that I did, he actually scored four goals. So <laughs> that was a fantastic recommendation. Nice one. Um, let's get on with it then. Uh, we are in the middle of the World Cup as well. There's another injury. Oh, what is going on, man? Um, here he's made of. Uh, who's this guy? I don't know much about him. Let's have a quick look. Is he in reserves? Reserves 25. I'm not going to use him, so let's uh, not need it. Let's see if we can get a bit of money for him. Every little counts, as they say. And there you go. Sports at Moscow march on. Look at that. Predicting the season of glory is in the offing. Come on, let's what we do. Um, so yeah, we just managed to get to the top of the league after the last games. Uh, the last win that I had, uh, sorry, I think it was a draw. The last game I had, and that was enough to get me top of the league. So that's where I am at the moment, and that's where I'm hoping to stay. Um, providing I can get some players fit. So, <laughs> and here we go. The transfer deadline is lifted. So now we should start seeing some some players coming in. So this is exciting for me. Uh, there we go, Mark Kerr, who's a superstar from Falkirk. I'm excited to get him in the team. Uh, Maraggio, heard a lot of good things about this. I uh, believe he's a Brazilian, yeah. I've heard a lot of good things about him, so hopefully he'll fit into the team nicely. And with the injuries that I have at the moment, you know, it's probably a good thing that I'm increasing the squad size. Uh, Tom Madeira, uh, yeah, heard good things about this guy as well, so let's see what he can do. Saeed is a, a defender, central defender, so that's good. He's got some cover for there. And Sigalko, now this is a guy that has been all over the forums, the threads, there's been all sorts of uh, talk about this guy. Um, you, you can go online, search for Sigal Sigalko, um, Championship Manager or one or two, and you will find loads of people absolutely raving about this guy. He's prob supposed to be an absolute superstar when it comes to scoring goals so there's going to be some amazing competition for 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 who's going to play up front but you know i didn't sign plays to leave him on the bench i am signing plays to improve the squad so they will have to go into the team somewhere um moscow that's not a different team that might be oh yeah mike duff who's another defender so that's good because he can play as a defender or as a defensive midfielder 
um, so he can fit into both of those roles which is good and again that's more cover considering all the injuries I'm getting as well so that's good uh, Spider at Moscow yeah Carlos Jacks uh, again attacking midfielder uh, very cheap price for how good he is apparently um, I've never used him before so we'll have to see what he can do and th that's another defender that I got uh, which was Fortune so hopefully he'll do well for us as well and I think that is the last signing I think now I think that's everything in now so it's going to be an interesting selection process for the next game um, just while we're cycling through these World Cup games it has been a few days since my last upload so I'm hoping to get two done for you today um, hopefully we can get two videos up today because uh, I didn't want to. I'm trying to get one up at least. I mean, I, I've got to get a few a week at least. Otherwise, you know, the channel will never grow. But you know, I've just got to work it around being busy and stuff. So I'm hoping to get one every couple of days at least. Um, but I've fallen behind a little bit, so I'm going to try and get two done today. So if this video is mainly showing the players that are going to be signing, the next video will show a lot more games because, like I've like I've said in previous videos, I don't want to. I don't want to make the videos too long because you know people don't have all day to sit there and, and watch videos and probably wouldn't want to sit there and watch um, myself on Championship Manager all day to be fair but um, hopefully you know I try and keep them around 15-20 minute mark so we'll see how, how far we can get through uh, up to the reaching that point and as I said if we haven't played any games when the next video will just be packed full of games and you'll be able to see all these new plays which I'm excited to see I'm really excited about that and so and it is, I mean, it's going to be hard because you know I've got I've got players that are scoring goals, um, I've got attacking midfielders that are contributing, but I do believe the players that I have signed will improve the squad. So, um, I mean, at the moment, the squad that I have, it, yeah, it probably is good enough um, to to win the title in in Russia. But what I want to do is make an impact in Europe and Champions League. And there's some very very strong teams on on this version of the game, so you're going to need a very strong squad if you're going to win if you're going to win European titles. Uh, but that's the ambition anyway. And what's that? Kiotis been banned for two more matches. I thought I was only banned for one match. Well, that's a bit of a downer. Um. Oh well. Not much I can do about that. Um. Patrick Vieira. Let's have a look at us. How old was he on this one? 26 year old Vieira. When he was in his prime, what a player he is. He's class on this game. Let's have a look at his contract. 17 and a half a week. 16.5 million opening bid. Oh my word. That's well expensive. I don't, I don't think I'll be signing him for Spartak, do you? No, I don't have that kind of money. Uh, Card, Ranching, Frankie. Oh, Bayern Munich get Figo. 19.5 million, wow. 29 year old. Yeah, he's still good, he's still good towards the last few years, so that's a good signing for Bayern. See, this is the thing that, you know, when when European teams are signing players of that calibre, you know, I need to be improving my team big time if I'm going to even compete against them guys. Um, Donny, he's a good player. And their directors are pleased. Um, I would prefer it if it said delighted, but. I guess I've had, I've had some poor results this season so far. So, oh, and there's another big, big signing: 22 million for Robert Perez. Do you remember him, Robert Perez? Arsenal winger, weren't he? Yeah, he's a good player. 29 again. It's big money for a 29 year old. But again, you know he's good. Uh, Parfenov. Uh, I'll let that contract run out because 27 now, and I don't keep players much above 25, 26. Um, so I'll just let that contract run out. He has been playing well for me, but like I said, by the time the next season comes around, I'll be signing new players anyway. So um, let's let that run out. We're into the Russian Cup now. Um, I think I've already been knocked out. I think I got knocked out in the first round. I'm gutted. Uh, transfer bid for Eric Backer. Leeds now. Leeds have got a fantastic team on this version. They they've got an awesome squad. And now they're looking to add your call to a 9.25 million. Wow. Yeah, he's a class player as well, he's your call. But I don't know how he'd fit into the team. So I'll just have to let him go. Even though he is a good player, you know, if I sign too many players, I'll end up with a lot of squabbly, unhappy players. So I don't want to be doing that, do I? 
and here we go oh there we go so that's all right we've, we've got we've got the chance to get a game in so um yeah let's get going let's try these new players out so we know Kyotis is suspended um i have the cover keeper in already so that's okay uh, let's have a look at fitness levels Biz Rodney he's gonna have to go okay let's see if we can get some of these new players in then if I I'll tell you what clear the squad and let's build it again with the new players in mind so we have defenders Ibrahim uh, I'm playing four yeah I'm playing four at back so Kebe is a left back which is good. Duff is a right back, wherever he's gone. Mike Duff, yep, he's fit, so that's okay. We'll have Ibrahim Saeed and Fortune is fit enough, but if there's another one a bit fitter, then I'll go with him. Cofton is 32. I'll put him in reserves now because he probably won't get much of a game now. Um, Midreski, yeah, let's try. No, I'll we'll go for Junior then, because Midreski had a, a disappointing game in the last one. So we'll go for him. Uh, defensive midfielders, let's see what we have. Mulatov uh, yeah. is defensive midfielder, and Matic will try them. Uh, Kubrianov, I'll put him on the bench as a sub defender. Uh, now nah, this is where it gets exciting attacking midfielders as you can probably tell I love signing attacking players and I don't sign many defensive players um, that's, that, uh, that's not always the safest way to play the game but you know it's the most exciting way to play the game in attacking football and that's what I want to do so let's have a look Mirage or um, Kim Karlström is fit and Carlos Jack, so we'll put him as the right sided attacking midfielder. Let's see who else we've got. Mm, Miraggio and Kalstrom. Let's try that. And then we'll have Zigalco up front. So I'll give Zigalco his debut and see what he can do we'll have um, Kalinichenko um, Parfenov as a sub defender defensive midfielder we'll have Mark Kerr on he's not quite fit yet and we'll have Tom Madeira who's another player that we signed make sure all the new signings are in and of course in case we desperately need We've got Mr. Beta fall back on who's been an absolute demon scoring goals. So the pressure is on the boys up front um, because I have Mr. B and Vasiliuk who are scoring for fun. So let's see how we go and let's get the game going. Uh, oh, you can use seven subs on it, okay. So I have another defender and. And Baziliuk. Okie doke. Right. Uh, Ibrahim. Ah. Ibrahim Saeed. Uh, Zigalgo. Fortune. Jax. Tormadira. Mike Duff. Mark And finishing off with Miraggio. So that leaves just one space left in the squad. Um, so I can't bring in many more players without selling now so I might look into that in the next video but for now that's looking like a winning team let's see what happens come on Spartak and that's a bad start <laughs> oh dear not a good start for the defence which is a new defence and it's not started off very well so come on Spartak come on we've got to get back in this game quick come on we've got players on there that could do the damage you know we have um, Locomotive Moscow are a good side, but there is a Jack's goal which has brought us back into the game 
and that's great stuff. A great debut for Carlos Jax. Um, I was told he will score a lot of goals, and it looks like he's uh, started off the way he was uh, expected to. That's another bad goal to concede. Um, not good day for the defence, I'm afraid. Uh, let's see if we can uh, make any changes at all that's going to make any difference. Um, uh, six from Saeed, six from Kebe, six from Jonathan Fortuny. So the defenders aren't playing good. Um, let's put Kubrian all in for Zaid. So it's a disappointing debut for Zaid, unfortunately. And let's try and then go for Fortune. Uh, can't do much about left back. And the rest of the team seem to be performing. So let's hopefully that'll tie up that'll tighten up the defence and the attack can do the damage. And there's a goal on the debut for Maraggio as well. So that's a fantastic debut and a fantastic start for him. And let's keep this going, Spartak. Come on, we're doing better now. Yes, we're oh there's a goal for Zigalko as well. So maybe all the chatter that I'd seen was correct. And that's another one for Zigalko. So we're we're smashing into a league. Oh and that's a Zigalko Atrig, I think. Uh, that's another goal to concede. That's not good. But what a fantastic game, I mean. Wow. Was it 2-1 on down at one, one, pit, one point? And now we're 5-3 up. So it's a fantastic turnaround by the squad. Um, the players, the new guys have come in and done well, most of them, apart from the defenders. They've let the side down. But there we go. Uh, Hattrick for Zigalco on the debut. A goal on his debut for Baraggio. And a goal on the debut for Koala Jack. So it looks like I have been right. And the people on the forums have been right that these players will improve your team and that's a fantastic result keeps us top of the league of course and let's see if we can squeeze maybe one you know, one more game in because i'm excited by that start by the new players and that was a fantastic win i'm well happy about it and let's have a look polyakov who's another reserve he's 23 year old well, he's not going to get into the team at all not with the players that i've signed so let's get him on the list as well um, might be good for some of the other teams that are out there in the division um, or if some lower league teams further afield uh, he's only a kid so you know he might get better uh, let's see what we can do in the next game who we got next we're away to oh, CSKA Moscow mm, they're a good team but like I said we've got some real superstars by the looks of it um, even though ok the defence had a little bit of a disappointing game the last, but you know it was the first game I've got to give him a chance um, Zigalko of course I'm going to leave him in <laughs> um, let's see if we can give Tor Madeira let's see if we can slot him in uh, let's put him in with Kalstrom and Instead of Bulatov, let's give Mark Kerr a game. Let's see how that goes. Let's get it on. This is going to be a tough game. Come on, Spartak. It's a, it's a shaky start. It's a very tight start. Looks like CSK are maybe just on top slightly. Um, but Spartak getting back into it. Come on, boys. Come on, Spartak. Get your grips. To the game. Oh, damn, that's another goal conceded. Well, again, we find ourselves 1 0 down, having to come from behind, which I don't like doing all the time. Um, but hopefully, yes, there we go, we're back in the game with Maraggio again. Uh, but that's another con goal conceded, that's not good. We're only in the lead for two minutes, that's not good enough. Definitely not good enough. I'm uh, not happy with that. Uh, hopefully, the attacking players can keep going and keep creating chances. There's a chance. Oh no, it's offside. Almost another goal for Zigalko. Come on, Spartak. Need to get back in this game, boys. Again, the defender's disappointing. Oh dear me, that's two games on bounce. Mm. That's not good, that. Let's give 
Brazilian games. Uh, even though the last game Sagalpo was on fire, he's, he's got a six for this game for some reason. So maybe they're just marking him really well. Um, but yeah, let's see if I can change our fortunes around. Come on, Spartak, we're making chances. Come on. Come on, Spartak, we can do this. Don't let him win. Come on. It's not looking like we're going to get back in the game. Looks like CSK have got quite a good defence there. But what? Maybe a chance there? No. Nope, it's not looking good. Come on, let go, let go. Oh, damn. Wait. Still managed to stay top of the league, which is good. Um, only lost three games, so it's not it's not crisis time. It's still three points clear. Um, so that's um, that's a disappointing end to the video. I, I, you know, but you know, you don't know what's going to happen with the live videos. You might win games, you might lose games. But it was a tight game. Uh, again, the defenders let me down, so I may have to reevaluate playing them. Uh, unfortunately, it's two players I've just signed. I was hoping they were going to do better, um, but. You know, we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll stick with him because I signed him for a reason. You know, I'm not gonna, just going to dump him in reserves after two bad games. I'll give him a chance, and um, we'll see how it goes. And we'll pick it up in the next video. So, um, again, thanks again for watching, everybody. Uh, by all means, f feel free to leave any comments you want. Um, share it on on other Facebook platforms and social media platforms and Twitter and and YouTube commenting as well, of course. And I'll see you in the next video, which should come along today. Because uh, I want to get two uploads done today if I can. Um, so watch out for that. Stay tuned and thanks again. Bye for now.